Hey Chiefs Kingdom, welcome back to Nobody Stop. Thought you were ready for another easy Chiefs win? Hold on to your hats, because the news coming out of Atlanta is going to stir things up. The Chiefs secured another victory, beating the Falcons 22-17. But this one was anything but easy. We'll break it all down, from Mahomes' performance to the Travis Kels situation and some huge breaking news that will leave you speechless. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. The Chiefs remain undefeated, but this win was a nail-biter. Mahomes delivered two touchdown passes, showcasing his usual magic. But that interception had us all on the edge of our seats. The defense stepped up big time in the clutch. But let's be real. We can't rely on defensive miracles every week. The tension in the stadium was electric. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Travis Kels and Taylor Swift. Before the game, the Chiefs' social media blew up with a photo of Kels and a caption referencing Swift's VMA speech. Happiness. Fun. Magic. The internet went wild. Swift was even spotted at the Bengals game, cheering him on. Is this the magic touch Kels needs? Because his performance hasn't quite matched his usual dominance. He's got only four receptions for 39 yards so far this season. As a Chiefs fan, I'm ecstatic about the win, but I'm also a little concerned. Mahomes is Mahomes, but that interception was a reminder that even he can have off moments. And Kels dot well, he's one of the greatest tight ends ever, but something's off. He's been dealing with some physical issues, and yes, his personal life is definitely in the spotlight. While it's great to see him happy, we need that dominant Kels back on the field. His chemistry with Mahomes is electric when he's on his game. And now, for a bombshell. Patrick Mahomes is publicly defending Travis Kels amidst the growing criticism. Mahomes is pointing out that the opposing defenses are double and even triple teaming Kels. The respect is there, but is it sustainable? Kels's numbers are down significantly averaging just 23 yards per game through three weeks, a huge drop from his usual dominance. Is this the start of a decline, or will he bounce back? To make matters even more interesting, Andy Reid is making changes to the offensive line, specifically at left tackle. Will Wanya Morris solidify the position, or will Kingsley Sumataya step up? Protecting Mahomes is paramount. Any weakness on the line could create major issues. Honestly, this news leaves me a little worried. While I have faith in Mahomes and Reed, the low numbers for Kels, along with the offensive line adjustments, raise some concerns. It's not panic time, but it's definitely something to keep a close eye on. We're still a contender, but the road to another Super Bowl just got a little bumpier. Mahomes recently addressed Kelsa's struggles, emphasizing that it's not a lack of effort or ability, but rather some off-field challenges. He's fully supportive, and the team is united. It's a testament to the brotherhood and resilience of this team. I believe Kels will find his rhythm, and the Chiefs will overcome these obstacles. It's going to be a fascinating season. That's it for today, Chiefs Kingdom. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What are your predictions for the rest of the season? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Chiefs updates. Let's go Chiefs!